Peace and light, peace and love. Thank you for joining me on the Pretty Priestess Show today. I am your host, Shakesha, and I'm here to talk to you all about beauty, life, and magic, which is how we show up, self-love, self-care, our social environment, and our relationships, and how we behave in them, and how we do it, which is the magic of all of this thing being put together. I wanted to start off right now quickly by giving a quick shout out and a highlight to Virtual Girl Cosmetics. This is some revolutionary shit that's bringing um, a new vibe to the cosmetics industry. I am absolutely in love with that pretty girl magic, that glamour magic, and this right here is definitely speaking. These are some products that really speak to um, the vibe that I've been all about as far as being intentional with those cosmetics. You can find those at virtualgirl.com where there's an assortment of different types of cosmetics that's going to cater to everybody's vibe. So if you're the eyeshadow, eyeliner type of girl, they got that for you over there. There's some facial beauty toner on there. There's also some beautiful lip glosses and lip liners. And that right there, family, is in my lane right there like nobody's business. Now, I got on the website today and I was able to find it by going into the search engine, which is like Google or Bing or any of those other things, and just typing in Virtual Girls Cosmetics and it takes you um, right to where the link is, where the website is. And you can get on there and you can order some really awesome products that you can actually enchant to serve your purposes. Um, the lip shits is what really does it for me. I'm a lip gloss, lipstick, lip lining fanatic right there. And so this is definitely a connection for me. And I got on there and ordered me up a little something something. And I am excited for it to come in my way. I totally get the vibe. And if you go and check out that website, you're going to see all of the vibey stuff that's on there. But when I'm talking about enchanting those beauty products, right, I'm talking about setting intentions for how I want that cosmetic to serve me, right? So what I'm going to do, of course, before I'm doing anything, I'm setting the intention. What do I want it to do? Do I want it to help me to um, enhance my ability to speak up? Or do I want it to help me to shut up? <laughs> or use discernment or positivity? Like, how do you want that to work for you um, while you're navigating these streets out here, right? And then for me, what I like to do is I like to really feel the vibe of what that intention is, right? So if I'm trying to be on some sexy stuff or if I'm trying to be, you know, on some assertive stuff, like what is the color? What is the vibe? How does it feel? And get all into that space. And then I may even find a color that's going to help me get into alignment. Or does it even sparkle like some of the sparkle lip gloss that's on there, right? So you got to feel that vibe of getting it in there. And then once you set the intention and you really are aware and are connected to the vibe that you're trying to get into, you're going to put that shit on. And when you put it on, you're going to speak of while you're in that mirror on how you want this to turn out, how you intend for it to turn out, what your desired results are. And you walk out the door and you step into that next level. You have just set that subconscious mind out to get you in alignment. And that lip gloss, that lipstick, the glamour that you are putting, the magic that you're putting with the cosmetics, that glamour magic, that pretty girl magic is going to enhance that product so that it serves you and helping you become your greatest version. Get you some virtual girl cosmetics. I know I am. I am super excited, super excited to get it. So, and when it does, I'm going to definitely model that shit off and let y'all know where I got it and how you can get you some too. So definitely, definitely check that out. But on another note, I wanted to um, connect because I've been um, always discussing about, you know, the things that I've been going through and a lot of the mental anguish and the adjustment 
and just really um, getting myself into a space where I can kind of move forward. I felt kind of stagnant, like I was stuck in the mud and I didn't really have too much motivation to do anything except for like sit around and eat, get my drink on and um, you know what I'm saying, got the weed thing going, my edibles and all of that and with that it was giving me the munchies and I think, well I don't think, I know <laughs> that I have picked up at least, at least 20 pounds in that process and I am not okay with that and it's not that I have like such a big hang up on like what my weight is and all of that other stuff like I kind of moved past most of those um insecurities because weight has always been a thing that fluctuates for me it goes up it goes down it's you know what I'm saying it's all over the place but at this point um my clothes are barely fitting me and so now I'm in a space where it's hard for me to fasten up my clothes if I can at all. There's some of them that I got like sitting in the back of the closet. And of course right now I'm not working so I'm not really in a place to like go out and buy a new wardrobe and say fuck it, it is what it is. Let me go ahead and keep it moving, right? So now I gotta work what I got. <laughs> and I gotta get myself into a space of making an adjustment. So I sat with that for a little bit, right? Now I can either stay right here where I'm at and continue to squeeze into my clothes or I can make some adjustments so that I can get back into the space where I'm wearing my clothes, I'm feeling real good about myself and feeling real confident. At this particular point, my self-esteem has not taken a downward spiral, but I'm not feeling 100%. I must tell you that, but I do feel still at the end of the day, pretty good and pretty high in spirits. And so I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to strike while the iron is hot and I'm going to take this right here, this whole vibe, this whole energy where I'm at right now and propel myself a little bit forward. But I think I need to do it a little bit differently because I've realized over the years with me having um, fluctuating weight that I've tried so many diets and programs and different types of systems that have all worked make no mistake about it they do work but at the end of the day it was bringing me on a thing where it was um, a balance thing so I would get so far out of balance up here then I would have to get out of balance on the other way and try to kind of um, balance that whole scales out and that's really crazy because with my self-invested group I'm self-invested and one of the principles that I'm studying right now is equilibrium which is all about balance and so with that I'm gonna take that lesson I'm gonna take that principle and I'm going to build on it in helping me in making some adjustments so that I can become my greatest version. And man, is this going to be a hell of a work because there's a lot of things that I'm just not willing to do no more at this point in my life. I've been there, I've done that, and I'm not finna do that. So number one, I'm going to tell y'all what all of my no's are. No restrictive diets. No scales. And no busting my ass. Zero. Right? And so let me go back and review on that. Because this whole restrictive diet thing, it's not a thing that I don't believe that any of these diets work. The keto diet, the vegan, the vegetarian diets and everything. I've done all of those except for this keto thing that I've been hearing so many positive things about. It's just not for me. And how I realized that it's not for me. Now listen, I was a vegan for three years and it absolutely helped me to heal my body. And if your body is screaming, I'm in trouble, I need bail money, then you better get your ass on this vegan diet and allow your body to heal. But baby, I got my healing. And so now I'm in a space where I have moved forward. But however, <laughs> however, I have gotten into a space where I'm out of balance. And so now I need to tip the scales in a different direction so that I can um, move forward in a way that serves me best. And so now I'm tailoring a plan that's gonna work for me, a lifestyle 
change that's going to work for me that I can live with. And for me, my biggest challenge is getting out of balance, right? So that's why I'm not doing these restrictive diets. I've done it. They absolutely do work, but it takes me into a space where I'm so out of balance. I start to rebel and I go in a different direction. So with that, I have to find my happy medium so that I can make these adjustments and I can stick to them. Because if not, that rebellious spirit in me will start to poke his heads up and say, fuck this. And I'm starting to, and I'm going for mine. So with that, I must do it this way. This is my path. The number two thing is no scales. Now, <laughs> they steal my joy, okay? They dysregulate me at this point because I get into a space where I get so obsessed, so concerned with where the number is, I'm not looking at the image that's in the mirror. So there's been a time before where I was so obsessed with looking at the numbers that's in the on the scale that I didn't pay attention to the image that was in the mirror. So when I look at myself in the mirror, I might have been 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds lighter, but I looked the same. Why? Because I didn't do the work on my body to tone up my arms, to tone up my waistline. I didn't do that work to make that happen for myself. So in reality, what I looked like was a smaller version of what, it, what the situation really was. And so with that, I'm starting to realize that the scales for me at this particular point in my life they don't help me at all. They kind of hinder me a little bit because I spend so many wheels in a space that doesn't really matter. And what my goal is overall is really trying to get my body back into a place where number one, I can fit my clothes and I'm feeling real good and energized within my body as well. And with that, <laughs> I wanted to go back into the no busting my ass space. I'm not busting my ass. I'm not training for an event. I'm not a movie star. It's not going down that way. I ain't in the business of busting my ass. I'm here to enjoy my life at this part of my life. If you want to go to the gym, bust your ass until you feel like your heart is going to explode out of your chest, you have at it, fam. And I'm here to encourage and support you in doing that all the way. I ain't mad at you, not one bit. But I'm here to tell you, I done moved past that. I've been to the gym. I busted my ass and I've gone through all those changes. But right now what I realize what it ends up doing, it takes a toll on my body to where I'm not really sure how long it takes for me to shift into the space where I'm really starting to enjoy the space that I'm in because my body is so damn sore. Of course, we know that soreness is an adjustment period, but it, you know, for me, there's no event. I need it to be a positive experience so that I'll continue to want to do it and embrace that in my life. Because if I don't, <laughs> I'm going to rebel and say, fuck it and sit at home and have chicken wings and weed and wine. So with that, I need to make sure that this is an enjoyable experience. So what I'm going to do to make this workable, to make this manageable for me is use smaller portions in my food. Since I'm not having a restrictive diet, I'm still gonna have a little of this. I'm still gonna have a little of that. I'm gonna adjust the way that I'm preparing it by utilizing things like air fryers, my broilers, my barbecue grills. Um, on occasion, I'm probably gonna have some of those wings, but instead of eating six whole chicken wings, maybe I'll back it up to three. <laughs> fuck around, fuck. Cutting it back the very best that I can because right now this is going to help me to propel forward. The clothes that I wear are going to be my gauge for where I'm at as far as progress is concerned. And when I look in the mirror, how things are fitting me and how I'm feeling when I'm looking at that reflection in the mirror, that's all that matters to me. The number that's on that punk ass scale and I'm telling you a punk ass scale because if I stepped on the scale today, I know that it would absolutely steal my joy. I ain't feeling that right now. So for that, I'm going to show myself some love and I'm going to let my clothes be my gauge. And I will be able to tell 
that I'm in the space where I want to be when I throw my jeans on and I don't have excessive muffin belly or muffin belly period. That is the space that I want to be in where I'm able to fasten my clothes without the struggle. That's the goal right there. And I don't need anything else. The number's not that important to me. At least not right now, it's not. And then right now, and then the other thing that I've decided to do, because I'm not in the business of busting my ass. I'm not training for an event. I'm not an athlete. I'm not a model. I'm not a movie star. I don't need to do all of that shit. And ain't nobody chasing and checking for me at this point in my life. I've been married for 14 years and I'm good. It, where I'm at. I'm really good where I'm at. And I have a husband who could give two shits as to whether or not I gained 50 pounds or lost 50 pounds. It was, it wouldn't matter to him at all. I'm blessed. However, for me, <laughs> for me, it's a whole nother other. And the reason why I say there's no bust in my ass, because my honey on the other level, he's one of those cats that goes to the gym and he goes for it and he wants to encourage me to get in there and bust my ass. And I have to stop and remind him, I ain't training for an event, fam. I know this is the mentality that you and your friends and your whole workout cypher, y'all get into doing that. Even when there's no event to train for, they just competitive like that. And that's cool. And I respect that. But I ain't the one. <laughs> I'm trying to make this an enjoyable experience. So with that, I'm going to make the adjustment to build the discipline my way. There's no getting around doing the work, unfortunately. If there was, I would have figured that shit out. I don't think that there is. If you know about that shit, please let me know. But here's my game plan on how I can make the adjustment in doing the work. I'm going to make sure the first thing that I do when I get up in the morning, well, maybe not the first thing, because I got to go to the bathroom usually when I wake up in the morning. But then after that, I'm starting to get myself together and get dressed and get ready and go to the gym. And if I got some coffee or something like that available that's gonna help me along my journey because I struggle sometimes, I'm definitely gonna do that. But the first thing I'm doing, out the door to the gym in the morning. Now, this right here, this ritual right here has been something that has been invaluable for me because I was having a steady practice when I was working, before I would go to work in the morning, before I would get the day started, I would go straight to the gym and get that workout out, get that workout done, and I would feel so good throughout the day, and I would feel so accomplished, and it set the tone. So I'm bringing that back into my life. So what I'm gonna do, first thing in the morning, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit the gym. I'm gonna get my half an hour of cardio, I'm going to get my half, an hour of weight, uh, um, my half an hour of weight training in. I'm going to get that shit in. And I'm going to make sure that I do that at the very minimum five days a week. This is something that's doable for me because I do realize that even though I'm making minor adjustments to how I'm eating my fruit and how I'm dealing with it and upgrading my vegetable and my fruit intake, my water game is getting upgraded and all of that. Going to the gym first thing in the morning is setting my tone for victory, right? I need victory all early in the day so that I can be on that whole victorious frequency. Now, what I realized with that whole thing, that once I set up to the gym, it sets the tone for the day. So then throughout the day, I'm making more higher vibrational choices throughout the day. So when I'm starting to work out, I've already claimed that victory. I'm coming home, I'm getting my meditation in, I'm getting some study in, I'm working on the book that I'm writing. Oh yeah, I'm working on a book, oh, don't get it twisted. I, I mean, I'm just not up to nothing, you know? But for real, for real, I've been working on this book for quite some time and I just realized that I need to complete this task. However, on all of those goals that I've been talking about, that I've been discussing, those are the things that I'm trying to knock out first thing in the morning. And you know why? Because what I've began to realize is when I set the tone early in the day with some victory shits, 
then I start navigating my day a little bit more victoriously. So I'm making better choices, higher vibration decisions, my interactions are better because my mood is elevated, my confidence is risen because I've worked in the discipline of making some shit happen for myself. And when I do that, it raises up my vibration and it changes my experience. So the magic in all of that shit is the ritual, right? And how I'm going about doing that. Now, for me, it's I got to get up early. I got to do a first thing in the morning. I need to work out. I need to meditate. I need to do some studying or work on my book. Then I need to start planning my meals ahead of time so that I'll know how I'm going to operate the rest of the day. If I'm going to do some chicken, how am I cooking that chicken? How is that chicken going to be prepared? So I got to be real smart with how I navigate that. I ain't pulling out as many pieces of chicken as I did before. What I am though doing is upgrading that vegetable content. I'm not going to wash it down with some Sprite at the end of the day. I'm either going to get me some water or I'm going to slice me up some limes, some lemons or something like that and get me a little bit of refreshing water or maybe even throw a little splash of that sparkling water in there and, and you know, use a little something, something to just put a little bit of sweetness into it. I like to make a simple syrup out of honey and get honey and water and mix it together and then I got a honey water type of uh, thing that I will use to sweeten up um, just a tad of sweet not a lot of sweet just to sweeten just a little bit of the waters that I'm drinking that I infuse with the essence of the fruits and everything so there's so many things that I can do to help me to navigate without me having to suffer so much um, as a result of me um, comforting myself during a time when I was really struggling but I do um, want to make sure that I keep everybody posted so that you'll know where my progress is at and that I'm um, staying true to the path that I'm on right about now because I'm also one of those cats that um, occasionally I'll change my mind and but I think that me figuring out the balance in this is going to help me to find success in that but um, I'm going to ask that you keep your sister lifted up, and I will absolutely keep you lifted up. Most high, we're going to want to give you thanks and praise for all that you've done and the things that you will do within our lives. We are encouraged that we will walk in your light. We are encouraged that we will receive the victory, and we ask that you will place a special blessing in the hearts and in the lives of all of those connected to this soul group, to this collective, that we will continue in raising our vibration and lifting our frequency. And we ask that the ancestors continue in supporting us, our guides, and all those that's working for our highest and greatest good. Continue to support us and assist us in helping us along our journeys. And I give you thanks and I give you praise most high for all of the divine intervention that you brought before us at this point in time. Ashe and Amen. I thank you so much everybody for joining me today and I ask that you continue to lift up the folks that's around you right about now because you know, it's a struggle right now. It's a struggle and everyone's going through it on one way or the other. So continue to stay in a pace of peace. Keep that vibration high. Stay balanced. And um, take authority like I'm doing, finally. <laughs> peace, y'all. Peace.